welcome, happy Christmas to each one of you. What a special and different Christmas this one is turning out to be. Christmas 2020 is a celebration we won't forget. We welcome children from St Augustine's School who will be singing for us during the service and will be eavesdropping in on two shepherds. Our church family gathers together like families up and down the country to share the joy of the birth of Jesus. Thomas will light our final candle in our Advent crown. This candle is for Jesus, the light of the world. Emily will say our prayer for us. We begin by singing our first hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful.
Today a Saviour has been born to us. He is Christ the Lord. Thomas is now going to light all of our Advent candles, including the white one in the middle, which is our special Christmas Day candle. God our Father, today we greet the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ with joy. Help us to live in his light and to share the good news of your love to the whole world. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Saviour, the Word made flesh who lived among us. Amen. Let us worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We say together, Help us, Lord, to worship you, to listen to your word, and to pray in faith, that we might grow in our love for you and for one another. Amen. Let's sit and think about the things we have said that we shouldn't have. Loving God because you forgive. We, we are, are forgiven. forgiven. Let's spend a moment remembering things we've done that were wrong. Loving God, because you forgive, we, we are, are forgiven. forgiven. Let's think now of things we have not done that we should have done. Loving God, because you forgive, we are forgiven. And now we remember people who have been hurt by us. Loving God, because you forgive, we are forgiven. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. Amen. The first reading is taken from Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their hometown to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in his cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Thank you. 
The second reading this morning is taken from Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 20. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I remember is the raw wind as we herded the sheep into the fold. Noisy lot. They were uneasy, restless. In the distance we could hear the cry of a wolf. Two of us stood guard and the rest of us huddled around the fire. It was freezing. We ate our supper, bread and cheese, as usual. No change there. And we talked about the next day's work, about whose turn it was to stand guard next. And about the town down in the valley. Bethlehem was so busy, so noisy with all those folks come for the census. Talk about crowded. We began to get sleepy. Been a long day. I'd almost nodded off when a burst of light made me jump. We got used to that strange star. Seen it for a night or two. But this was not a starlight. You'd think it was angels crowded together. I couldn't look straight at that light. I remember covering my eyes against the glare, the brightness almost enough to blind me. Then that sound seemed to echo all around us. I began to catch some of the words. Peace, glory, good news. Go now, down to Bethlehem. Not me, no way. Come on, don't argue. We're all going. What about the sheep? We tumbled down the hillside into the town. The back streets were brighter than usual. Must have been that new star. We could see quite clearly. And what did we see? A stone stable behind the inn. We crowded through the entrance and stopped short. What a surprise. A baby, newborn. That girl, the mother, smiled at me. So quiet, so peaceful. Sort of special that baby was. I reckon that baby will be even more special when he grows up. Those two shepherds were absolutely right. The baby they found in Bethlehem was indeed special. The shepherds weren't sure why at the time, but as the baby grew to adulthood, the life of that child would change our understanding of God forever. That understanding is expressed in our creed, which we say together now. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We, we believe, believe and trust, trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Liz will now lead us in our prayers. For unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. Almighty God, our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the season and feast of Christmas. Help us to make time in all the busyness to remember. To remember that you sent your son to live and die and rise again, to be our saviour, our prophet, priest and king. We pray for all those who are especially busy at this time of year, workers in the health service, carers, police and the emergency services. Grant them joy in their work and rest from it. We pray especially for clergy and church workers. Give them strength and resilience through this time and help them to find time for family, friends and their own walk with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. 
We pray for all those who carry the weight of government on their shoulders. We pray for the Queen. We thank you for her example of Christian faithfulness and service and ask you to guide her and grant her wisdom in her dealings as our Head of State. We pray too for the Prime Minister, our Ministers and Members of Parliament. Please grant them all wisdom, integrity and tender-heartedness. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We pray for those who are sick, grieving or in crisis. Bring comfort, love and healing to those who are sick and counsel to those who are troubled or afraid. We pray for all those who mourn and grieve the loss of loved ones, especially those who died at this time of year. Strengthen and sustain those mourning with happy memories and confirm in them the hope of the resurrection through Christ our Lord and Saviour. We pray especially for all those suffering from depression or those for whom Christmas is an especially challenging time. Bring the peace that passes understanding to their hearts and minds and grant them rest for their souls. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. And we pray for ourselves. Be near us, Lord Jesus. We ask thee to stay, close by us forever, and love us, we pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Merciful Father, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy and peace. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is always right to give you thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. Holy, holy, holy. You sent your Son to live among us, Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child, he suffered on the cross, he died to save us from our sins, he rose in glory from the dead. Holy, holy, holy. 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 You send your spirit to bring you new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends he took bread and thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, 
Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Amen. 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 Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. Amen. 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 For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. 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 Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ broken for us all. The blood of Christ shed for us all. We say together, Dear, Dear Lord, Lord, we ask that nothing will be able to separate us from you. Come into our hearts and lives today and stay with us always. Amen. Thank you, Lord that we could share this time of worship with you on Christmas morning. Help us to care for each other as we celebrate this special day.
Thank you to Emily, Thomas, Liz, John and Henry, our shepherds, to all who helped to make this service special. A big thank you to the children of St Augustine's School for singing Away in a Manger. We've loved having you join in our service. Thomas gets another thank you for putting the films together. Happy birthday today to Francesca and Nicola, who were both born on Christmas Day. Happy birthday. final Christmas blessing. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, or hear the angel voice. The joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child fill your hearts this Christmas time. And the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.